the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. We're trying to develop a state of oneness. We're trying to develop the skills of being still. Our mind is really skilled at running around. It goes here, it goes there, really quickly. In a split second, you can go to the other side of the world and come back. But what do you have as a result? Nothing much. You have a few memories here and there. And sometimes you develop some really bad qualities as you run around because your greed, aversion, and delusion fire the running around. So if you're going to desire something, desire some stillness. And see it as freedom. I was reading someone complaining that when you get the mind absorbed and still, it's restricted and confined. And you want the mind to be measureless, allow it to go anywhere it wants. That's allowing your defined ones to go anywhere they want. And you have to learn how to see the disturbance of the mind as well, just that, the running around of the mind, thinking of the mind as a disturbance. The Buddha even calls it an affliction. That's where we get our entertainment, but he says it's an affliction. We have to understand what his values are, where he's coming from. Because he's found a happiness that comes from really being still. When the mind is unlimited by this, that, and the other thing. It is allowed to stay with one thing and expand that one thing to fill its whole awareness. And that's a skill. It takes work, but it's work that's well done. That accomplishes a lot. It helps you to see your mind a lot more clearly. Because otherwise, if you just watch it running around and say, well, I'm aware of it's running around, so that's enough. You don't know why it's running around. You don't know why it's doing things until you try to stop it. That's when it begins to show itself. So in being still, you're not just hiding out. You're learning a lot about the mind. When you're changing its habits, some sorrows are being running around. They call it the wandering on. Someone call it the bumbling on. Learn to appreciate stillness, because it has a lot to, to offer, a lot to teach you, and it provides you with a sense of well-being. And this is where you get a sense of being unlimited. You're not limited by your distracting thoughts. You can spread your awareness out in all directions with just one object. See what that does for you. See what you learn.